Hello, hello. Welcome to Meraki Feliz Creative YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. In today's video, I want to take you step by step on how to make this beautiful string art or geometry art wall decor. Uh, kindly remember to hit the subscribe button and also to like the video and to share. Remember to watch the full video if you want to end up with such a neat and beautiful string art on this pattern. So guys, let's begin. Welcome. So the first step is to prepare your board. Uh, for my case, I have a Sakura board, though I like to comment that you don't have to use a Sakura board. You can also use a square, but when you're making, when you're, when you're hammering your nails, uh, draw a circle and then hammer the nails along that circle. So you will end up with a circle despite that you're using a, a square board. Uh, for my case, the board is circular in shape and it is 60 centimeter in diameter or 2 feet in diameter. Uh, I have a total, I've already, as you can see, I've already hammered the one inch nail. Remember, we always use the one inch nail. And I, all over my board, all over the parameter of my board, I have a total of 187 nails. So I'll be using these threads here. And uh, this is cream, gold, and red. You can use any color of your choice. For me, I'll be using those one. So what I've done in my board, I have, remember I have a total of 187 nails. So I've divided the nails, that is 187 nails, into six. Uh, six because I want, uh, when, uh, when I put the gold here, uh, it also goes to the other end so that makes 2.1 and 2 there is this red point here and this other one such that my board is being divided each thread is dividing the board into into a half like now this goal here that is stretches to the, the the center nail which is here it goes to to this other center nail such that it will divide the board into a half same crests to the cream so at the middle that is between the red and gold I have equal nails that are the same between the gold and cream here so here I have a total of 30 a total of 30 nails 30 nails 30 nails for each section okay so depending on the number of threads that you want to use you can use two you can use three you can use four you just divide your number of nails with that number you you let's say you're using four four multiplied by two is eight eight then uh, you divide your number of nails by eight okay so that you will know where to place your thread and such that it's going to divide your your circle equally okay and then you'll end up with a neat pattern so right now do the pattern so after you've identified all your points the next step will be to tie the thread at the point where you've marked so in this case i'm putting the gold i'm tying the gold the gold thread then i'll tie the cream So I have my threads now tied to one point where I've marked red, gold and uh, cream. So the next step, you're going to take your, your red thread. I don't know what color you're using. You can now remove this that you had used to mark the points. So I'll start with red. Uh, for this kind of a pattern, you will find that started there. Now I can also remove this. So 
So this is how to go about the pattern. This is uh, okay. I'm going to take this is one half and this is the other half. For one half, yeah, that is the top nail and the bottom nail. Uh, on this side, I will be using one nail to take two nails on that side such that I'm going now to form the half cardioid pattern on this side okay the side that you are taking one nail like now this nail it's going to take two the second nail on that side one nail same case to this nail it's going to take the third nail and the fourth nail okay so that is how to go about with this pattern at the same time there are some people who normally skip a nail on that side and this side they don't skip you are still going to end up in the same pattern but for my case since i don't want to have spaces along one half i'm not going to skip instead i'll be using one nail will be taking two nails on the other half so you begin with your end Trend. So I'm going to do the red thread pattern up to where the gold the gold part is starting i'll call it the gold part is starting and then i'll show you what to do next so i've reached the point where the gold thread will be starting uh, and at this point I'll want to push these threads down you'll see the reason why and also while doing this pattern ensure that you are you are making your threads so tight but on this side whereby you will want to keep your threads up we'll see the reason as to why so they go down there but this side they remain up so once you reach that point there you will still continue doing your pattern Remember not to remove this this point that you had marked with gold. now once you've reached remember to push your thread on this other half down but on this side they remain up so once you reach on this side once you reach the point where your next thread is starting you want to stop at that point And now you want to start with this thread here. You are now starting with the next thread. And for this next thread, 
my candle is going to form on this side yeah this side here so I will be skipping I will not be skipping this half on this side is the one that will be taking two nails on this other half okay so by that what I mean I'm going to go to the next nail on this point but still go to the first nail on that side on the third nail I go to the second and still the second nail on that side will come to the fourth nail on this side okay so what we were doing on this part here we are now doing it on this other part here okay I don't know if it's clear so the pattern that we are forming for the rent we are forming the carded on this half now for the gold I'm going to form the half cardion on this side okay so I will be one nail on this side will be taking two nails on this other half like you are doing here such that on this red one nail on this half it was taking two nails on this other half so for gold it's going to be one nail on this half it's going to take two nails on this other half So I've reached the point where the cream thread is starting or the next thread is starting. So I'm going to go past it. So I'm almost at a point where my, I had stopped the, doing the red pattern. So I'm going to stop there for gold, with gold. Okay, you can just leave it at that point. Then I'll get back to red. Yeah, with this kind of a pattern, it's kind of tedious and if you're not used to making the thread, it can be a little bit tricky to make. So I'm now continuing with the red pattern until I up to here, I go past the, the cream. So I'll continue with the thread up to the point where the the cream is starting so i've reached that point where the cream is starting so I will again stop the thread at that point and now take my cream remember I haven't worked with cream so far so I take my cream now for cream remember with this kind of a pattern what is um, the most crucial point is to determine how you want which side you want your cardion and for the pattern now to form to form a seam I can say a neat pattern it's whereby the cardion comes on top and it is not covered by this these threads of these other threads okay so of this other color that's what I want to mean 
so when doing cream I want now the half cardioid of the cream color to form on this side to form on this side so I have this let me do this so I have this half and I have this other half so what I want in this case I want the cardioid the side whereby it's taking one nail is taking two nails on this side to be on this side okay or where the threads are more concentrated I want it to be on this side so what is going to happen here I will be this side of the cream color this half of this cream color it's going to be taking two nails on this other side okay just like we've been doing with the rest so the secret is to know where you want your your half cardioid to form so my cardioid will be here and the gold will be there and for the cream will be here such that there is none that is there is none that is going to come on top of the other we'll see what i mean at the end so now while doing this part now this is normally the tricky part with this kind of a pattern because i don't want this cream color to come on top of this red color here so what you're supposed to do is this uh, you're going to take such a hook or a needle uh, for my case i'm using a crochet just something that is going to help you pull through the drains and this is how you go about it so i uh, like so that i can be able to work easily I'm going to turn it like that so this is where i have my cream i'm going to use this to help me pull through there you can see what i'm doing i'm just going to pass through this hook under the thread the, the this color thread that i had started with so i put it like that and then using like that i just pull through So you just put it like that and you put it where you are starting. You don't have to pull all of it. Yeah. So once I pull it like that, then I can pull it this other side here. I'm going to repeat that. So it's going to go back to the first nail on that side. I bring it again. I put through my hook. I pull it. So this is just for a short part. Uh, when you reach, when you reach somewhere here, it's going to be easier. When you reach somewhere here, it's going to be easier. You're going to see that. So just be patient. So once you pull it like that, you take it to that point there, and then you do that. Now you can go to the next nail. You put it again. Go to the next nail and back. Don't forget our technique of repeating the of one nail on that side taking two nails on this side so you put it again you pull it put the next nail then pull the thread Put it again. You can see how I'm doing. I'm using this finger to pull down the thread and then I use the hook. I hook the thread. Once I've hooked it, I pull 
and then I put it there and then I put it through again to the next to the nail so it's easier and I've said it's not going to take you much time the only thing that you need to ensure is that you are tightening the threads because while working with the hook you can find that you're not tightening the thread it's not going to make your pattern look neat at the end and you'll see how fast it is and it is easier and fast so just put a hook like that and I pull through So once I find like the one color is, I'm going to go past one color, I'll then come back and stop the cream at that point. Then I'll take red and continue with red because I want to create space for gold so that to continue with gold. Okay, for this point I'd like to say that on this side gold cannot come past red and on that side cream cannot go past like gold has to be always under the cream color and red has to be always under the gold color and for this case cream has to be always under the red color that is the secret okay so once I see like I'm going to go past this color, the gold color here. I have to stop the cream there and then come continue with red so that I can be able to continue with gold. And once I'm able to push gold, I'll be able to push the cream. So that's why I've stopped at that point. Now I'll continue with red up to a certain point maybe up to certain point here because i have all this point for red remember i cannot bring red past past the cream color so i'll continue up to a certain point here then i'll continue with gold up to a certain point then i'll continue with cream so let's do this So I've reached a point where now I'm almost going past the cream color so I, I wish to stop there the red color and now next I work with the gold color
so once I've worked with the golden color up to a point where I'm almost going past red I stop there so the next red to work with will now be the the cream color uh, you might be wondering how I'm able to leave the thread and it is not unraveling. So what I'm doing, I'm just taking now like where I've stopped. If I take this gold where I've stopped like this, I just go to that nail where I was supposed to continue from. And then I just make like rounds just to make sure it's firm. And then I'll just put it under my board or you can use something that is going to keep the thread still but once I do it like that you can see it still remain there the way it is and it's not unlevering okay so I now next I'll work with cream remember cream is the one that is a little bit tedious to work with because you have to go under the thread using a hook but I told you you're not going to do that for long so I'll now do the cream and then we'll work with the next. So with the cream color, you will notice that as you continue, most of when you reach the point where now the, you are going under the threads, remember at this point there was space, we had not covered the top part with the red color. But now for this case we are now the, 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 thread, the red thread was starting, now you, you have to go under. Now like this part, I have to put the cream color under, under the red one. So it can be a little bit tricky, but remember with Miraki there is always creativity. So once you reach there, you will still continue using your hook. And what you do, you just use this index finger to pull through the, the thread and insert it there. Then use your hook, you pull it, and then once you, when it comes to your visibility, you can now use your hand to pull it through. And now you do like that. Remember, I've not cut my thread, yeah? Okay, I had to cut my thread to bring it to this other side, but my thread is still intact, you see? So you continue like that, you just use your index finger, put it. Yeah, it can be a little bit tricky and tedious at the same time. If you find this to be hard for you to do it, you can just use the needle. Here yeah, now you'll be required to cut the thread. So I'll do this pattern up to until I come past the red color. So I'll continue with my struggles going, putting the cream color under the red color up to where and up to the time when I come past the, the red color or the red thread.
I've now reached the point where now I'm getting past the red color and at this point now my pattern will become easier to make it's not like now whereby I was being forced to go under the red color at this point I'm going to work with cream over here without having to first of all work with red and then work with cream so I can first of all work with cream up to a point whereby I'll not go past the gold color there so I can still continue with cream past red color then the red color will come on top of the cream color so this is the point whereby I was telling you your pattern will get easier at some point but the struggles are real when you're doing this part whereby you have to put the the red the cream color below the red color so for now the pattern is a little bit easier to make i'll just now continue up to a point where i'll not go past the gold color so the gold color is my determinant on who i'm going to stop with the cream color What I believe now is that now you can easily work around your pattern as after you've reached or after you've gone past the red color or whichever color you are using it is easier now to work your pattern so long as whichever thread that is coming on top of the other like now in this one where the gold is coming on top of red you should always make sure when making the pattern that the that the gold does not come past the where the where you've reached with your red color same case to the same case to the cream it should not go past the past the past the gold color and also the red should not go past the cream color so for now the pattern is easier to make so i'll make now up to the final results and then we we'll see what I'll have at the end. Is it neat? Is it something that you like to try? So stay put, let us do this, okay? So thank you so far.
so my pattern is done but not dusted yet i still have some loose yarn as you can see I still have some loose yarn that i'm yet to cut but that is my pattern guys like i was telling you you can see how the cardio or what i can call the half moon is forming uh, the pattern is neat as you can see it's very neat and you can see that there is no thread that is coming on top of the other that is the part that I was telling you you will have the if you follow my instructions you will end up with this and you will not have like one color of thread coming on top of the other color thread so remember to follow the instructions so that you'll end up with such a pattern it is very neat as you can see yeah it is neat and also that part of not of not uh, skipping a nail but instead of uh, using uh, one nail taking two nails on the other side um, that one will also help you not to have a lot um, space in between your thread on one half so also follow that procedure of not skipping a nail but instead one nail taking two nail on one nail on ha one half taking two nail on the other half and you'll end up with this so thank you guys remember to hit the subscribe button to like the video and also to share with your friends somebody who is interested in string art making this one will be so helpful to that person so thank you guys till next time bye bye